The hemocytometer is a device used to count cells. It was originally designed for the counting of blood cells. The hemocytometer was invented by Louis Charles Molasses and consists of a thick glass microscope slide with a rectangular indentation that creates a chamber. This chamber is engraved with a laser etched grid of perpendicular lines. The device is carefully crafted so that the area bounded by the lines is known, and the depth of the chamber is also known. It is therefore possible to count the number of cells or particles in a specific volume of fluid, and thereby calculate the concentration of cells in the fluid overall. Principles The gridded area of the hemocytometer consists of several 1x1 ohm squares. These are subdivided in three directions. 0.25x0.25 ohm, 0.25x0.20 ohm and 0.20x0.20 ohm. The central square is further subdivided into 0.05x0.05 ohm squares. The raised edges of the hemocytometer hold the cover slip 0.1 ohm off the marked grid, giving each square a defined volume. Usage To use the hemocytometer, first make sure that the special cover slip provided with the counting chamber is properly positioned on the surface of the counting chamber. When the two glass surfaces are in proper contact Newton's rings can be observed. If so, the cell suspension is applied to the edge of the cover slip to be sucked into the void by capillary action which completely fills the chamber with the sample. The number of cells in the chamber can be determined by direct counting using a microscope, and visually distinguishable cells can be differentially counted. The number of cells in the chamber is used to calculate the concentration or density of the cells in the mixture the sample comes from. It is the number of cells in the chamber divided by the chamber's volume, which is known from the start, taking account of any dilutions and counting shortcuts, where the volume of the diluted sample is the volume of the sample after dilution and the volume of the original mixture in the sample is the volume of the actual cell suspension undiluted. For example, if the volume of the original mixture was 20 I 1 quarter L and it was diluted once, then the second term in parentheses is 40 I 1 quarter L slash 20 I 1 quarter L. The volume of the squares counted is the one shown in the table at the top, depending on the size. The number of cells counted is the sum of all cells counted across squares in one chamber. The proportion of the cells counted applies if not all inner squares within a set square are counted. For most applications, the four large corner squares are only used. The cells that are on or touching the top and left lines are counted, but the ones on or touching the right or bottom lines are ignored. Requirements The original suspension must be mixed thoroughly before taking a sample. This ensures the sample is representative, and not just an artifact of the particular region of the original mixture it was drawn from. An appropriate dilution of the mixture with regard to the number of cells to be counted should be used. If the sample is not diluted enough, the cells will be too crowded and difficult to count. If it is too dilute, the sample size will not be enough to make strong inferences about the concentration in the original mixture. By performing a redundant test on a second chamber, the results can be compared. If they differ greatly, the method of taking the sample may be unreliable. Applications, blood counts, for patients with abnormal blood cells, where automated counters don't perform well. Sperm counts, cell culture, when subculturing or recording cell growth over time. Beer brewing, for the preparation of the yeast. Cell processing for downstream analysis, accurate cell numbers are needed in many tests, while some others require high cell viability. Measurement of cell size, in a micrograph. The real cell size can be inferred by scaling it to the width of a hemocytometer square, which is known. References External links, online exercise, yeast counts in newborn improved automa counting chambers, hemocytometer calculator online.